Okay, so in the last screencast, we looked at setting an employee or a contractor up with a Google Apps account, and uh, so I spent a lot of time doing that today. Um, and the next thing we need to do is set all the employees and contractors up with Redmine accounts, and also customers get uh, Redmine accounts as well. And Redmine is a process management system that manages things like issue tracking, time tracking, wiki documentation, uh, calendar functionality, and a whole bunch more. It's uh, where we spend most of our time uh, at Gunner Technology. So uh, getting someone set up with that is really easy, and there are other screencasts that cover the specifics on how to actually use Redmine, but this is going to be um, how to actually just create an account for someone. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, go here, um, which is which is the what you're seeing a wiki for a specific client right now, um, and the only thing we're, we're going to go back to our home. And then we're going to click administration here. And then click users. And then click new user up here in the top right. And uh, since we have to do this all for anyway for some, some new people, we're going to do this right now. Um, And uh, again, uh, we're going to leave the notifica email notification things the way they are. And we're going to check this because this is pretty annoying if you get notified of changes you make yourself. Uh, we'll leave, let's see, I don't, I'm not sure of the time zone, so we'll leave that. Uh, comments, and it's going to send the account information to the user. So we're going to click uh, Create and Continue. Okay, so successful creation. Now, creating a user doesn't do much by default. Uh, they can't do anything unless they have access to projects. So uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to we're gonna jump to a project real quick, and there's a ton of them, but we're going to jump to Gunner Technology. Now, every single person in here should have access to at least the Gunner Technology project because that's, that's sort of, you know, the company that represents the company and tickets around, ticket, tickets issues and events around the, around the, um, around the company. So we're going to... Um, go settings up here and then click uh, members and uh, we're going to uh, add our newly appointed person and we're going to give him the role of um, developer and con bonner. Everyone should get the con bonner role because that'll show uh, that allow them to access the Kanban um, tab up here, which we cover later. But uh, when you create someone, when you create someone and add them to Gunner Technology, uh, make sure you give them the Kanban role. Uh, and then, you know, if they're a manager, um, you can add manager, reporter, designer. Reporter is really just reserved for customers. That allows them to report issues. Uh, and you wouldn't add a customer to the Gunner Technology project. You would add the customer to their specific project. So, for example, if there's company X, Y, and Z you would add them as a reporter to the project X, Y, and Z, not to Gunner Technology. Uh, any contractor or employee should be added to the Gunner Technology um, uh, project. And again, this is just a copy. This is um, not our real live server. This is just, uh, you can see I filled it with some test data right here. Um, so this is not actually going to be live, uh, but we're going to go ahead and click Add. Uh, then it comes up and it says it's done. Now again, this is this is test data, uh, so it doesn't really matter. But in here, you could set their uh, the person's hour, hourly rate. And for Gunner Technology, no one has a rate because it's it's for the company. But on a project per project basis, you can set their rate in here on on what the the rate is here. And generally, that's that's that only difference there is is what type of task it is, whether it's web development or social media consulting, social media um, analysis. Uh, social media copywriting, SEO analysis, research, web design, you know, it, the person doesn't really matter. Uh, it's more of what the, the project is agreed upon and things like that. So this is just uh, absolutely um, uh, fake made up data right here for me. And as you can see, Derry doesn't have one at all. Uh, but on, when we go in later and we'll look more at it, we create individual projects. Uh, everyone assigned to the project would have generally a normal rate unless, uh, unless it's, it's a sort of a, um, uh, a different arrangement for, for pay, payment.